AIDS.gov is at the 2014 Conference on Retroviruses and Opportunistic Infections, or CROI. We sat down with Dr. Deborah Persad from John Hopkins Children's Center. Hello, this is Miguel Gomez with AIDS.gov from CROI, talking with Dr. Deborah Persad, whose research findings, along with her colleagues, were presented at CROI and have made national headlines. In a nutshell, ma'am, could you share what you presented? Today we presented a case of a follow-up on the Mississippi baby, who's the infant identified in Mississippi, cared for by Dr. Hannigay, was treated very early at around 31 hours of age with antiretroviral drugs, and who, after going off treatment at age 18 months, had no evidence of the virus coming back. Now, at um, this conference, we reported a nearly two-year follow-up visit on this infant who remains off antiretroviral treatment without any detectable virus replicating in her blood. And also, you reported um, at the conference about an infant in Los Angeles. Could you share that? That's correct. So in Los Angeles, um, followed by Dr. Andre Duvecas, there was an infant who was born actually a month after the Mississippi baby's case was reported, and in which a similar treatment approach was taken. That infant was given a three-drug regimen, starting at four hours of age, and is now nine months on treatment, remains on treatment, so has not gone off treatment. And in that infant, we've done um, extensive testing to look to see how much HIV is persisting within that infant. And what we find with the very early treatment, it's very difficult to detect HIV-infected cells within the infant's system. Now, we know that this does not represent that we've cured HIV or cleared HIV, but what it tells us is that with very early treatment, we can really prevent this rapid spread of HIV to cells within an infected child. And thank you for saying that because this information has made national news, front page news, um, and people may just hear the word cure if they're listening to the radio or glance across a newspaper. Could you remind us again where we are with our resource towards a functional cure? So we're still in the beginning of trying to figure out how to reach a functional cure in HIV-infected persons. These are, we really have two cases of perhaps cure. One is the Berlin patient who has been cured of Mm -hmm. HIV. And the second is the Mississippi child who's now two years off of antiretroviral drugs. That's really just two cases. Um, So we're still in the beginning stages. These cases give us information in terms of how we can prevent HIV from establishing its foothold in the bloodstream of infected individuals. But we still really don't have a way to achieve cure in any HIV-infected person at this point. But we're moving forward, and that's the good news being reported out of CROI, but we have a lot to learn. That's correct. Well, I want to thank you for your time today, and this is Miguel Gomez with AIDS.gov from CROI 2014.